Are you psyched to see the continued adventures of Alien Covenant and Prometheus go on? <laughs> if not, I have good news for you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? I phrased that in a weird way. <laughs> um, but we know that right now uh, there are two prequels to the Alien franchise yes. by Ridley Scott, uh, Prometheus and Alien Covenant, mm -hmm. uh, but mostly following the adventures of David, played by Michael Fassbender. Mm -hmm. um, but there is a chance that this timeline could end and we could start anew. Uh -huh. An inside source was talking to Collider and explained, I think the original plan was after Covenant, assuming it was going to be a box office hit, that they were gonna make one more movie that connected to the original Alien. Then after that, they were gonna jump ahead, I heard, into the future, past all the movies we've known into sort of like a new timeline so you could start again with new characters, new predicaments, whatever it may be, and start these movies at maybe a lower budget <laughs> and basically continue doing Alien movies but not worry about David, Michael Fassbender, and all the other stuff. In this idea, hmm. because Covenant didn't really meet the expectations of the studio. No, yeah, so it didn't do so well. It looks like what they might actually do is, just go ahead according with the to the show? source, just go ahead and reboot it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, and, uh, it, it's kind of like, Kicking a dead horse. Like I think that the the franchise has done. This is my personal opinion mm -hmm. that it's kind of done what it set out to do. And there's a lot of sci-fi that could be done without taking place within this one world I mean, they that they've created. They did a lot created. of maneuvering to try and connect the original this one. Like, yeah. oh, they're not elephant head beings. Right. Right. They're not elephant <laughs> head beings. These yeah. are just helmets, and they really yeah. look like this under. And this is, you know, and it just didn't really. I mean, it makes sense, but it doesn't land in a satisfying way. I would yeah. argue. Yeah, I would rather than put the effort into creating a new franchise or a new sci-fi series, uh, and, and instead of trying to tie it in, I get it. You have that brand identity, and you have mm -hmm. something that you can bring in, like marketing-wise. But um, like, I'd rather see more sci-fi out there that's original than mm -hmm. rebooting or prequels or sequels. Or, or anything like that. Well, it looks like, um, according to sources, Fox will have to reassess the two intended sequels Scott had pitched. So it could happen, it mm. might not happen. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you're ever gonna capture the magic of Alien or Aliens ever no, again. Because it was those, so fresh and so I new mean, at the time. Aliens, to me, is almost a perfect movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I don't see where you can go from there, you mm -hmm. know? I Besides mean, Alien versus Predator again well, and again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think that remakes ruin movies. Sure. I'm not an idiot. But, um, <laughs> Ooh, called shot. <laughs> I, just, I just think, you know, sometimes it's not really worth the trouble. Sometimes yeah. the original stands as a masterpiece on its own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe it's time to find another direction to go in. Right, and like the crossover stuff was a reflection of the trends at the time. Like now the trend is to create the prequels or to continue, but I think back then it was a lot. You saw a lot of like crossover, especially in like the horror genre yeah, of like one was, monster versus another monster. Or I don't know if Ridley Scott would be willing to do that kind of thing because and I don't think that he they wants should. more prestige level, and that's more of like horror camp. Yeah, which is yeah, this yeah, whole yeah. Other thing. Yeah, and it's 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 this weird um, balance that they have to do because they have to um, appeal to the horror audience and the sci-fi audience, but also bring in new people, mm -hmm. and so you see. That with kind of like the Star Trek reboots, like bringing it to more of a mainstream audience. But I, I really think, because we've seen some cool ideas in sci fi just absolutely tank. I mean, Valerian comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, just happened. we did a partnership with them, so I will say nothing. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> but, but I mean, you know what I mean? There's so much, there's some, there are good concepts that are just poorly executed. You're, everyone's entitled to their opinion. Yes. It's fine. It's Don't fine be scared opinion. to ever say what you really think. Yeah, yeah I made a whoopsie. <laughs> no, you you didn't. No, you didn't because okay. that is how you feel and yes. that is fine. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this is a good idea, but I also don't know. I mean, if we're weighing the do I want another in the line of Prometheus Covenant or do I want something brand new? Mm. If those are my two choices, I think I would like something brand new mm. because there is potential there, however slim I think those mm -hmm. chances are. Right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, uh, as a studio, I would want the alien name, but mm -hmm. as a consumer of media, I want something new. Right, okay, well, I mean, there, there's two different sides to this. Mm -hmm. Audience, would you rather see a new Prometheus sequel <laughs> or a oh, new God. Alien movie altogether. You can only choose out of those two. <laughs> Don't pick a third option. Please let us know below and please like and subscribe for more.